As Winston Smith awoke from troubled dreams, he realized, Oh my God, I have that fascist feeling. I, Winston Smith, have that fascist feeling as I get up in the morning, go through my ablutions, and step out into the world where it's April 26, 2012, and in waves, the United States has gone even more fascist than the Winston Smith of Orwell's 1984 could imagine. Winston Smith. Winston Smith, ladies and gentlemen, the archetypal victim of a fascist state. And this, uh, this is a class where we're sensitizing ourselves to why are we covered in goosebumps all the time? Well, for the simple reason that, well, a fascism is obviously just a very unnerving and, you know, creepy, just kind of a creepy, icky, yucky feeling. Kind of like snot, mucus, pus, ooze, poo poo. Failed Tourettean moment there. Perry! <laughs> Do I seem dissociated sometimes? And now, Perry Logan and the Fear perform that fascist feeling! Another thing about that fascist feeling is the is the fear. <gasps> Do I look fearful? Do I look a little fearful to you? Well, perhaps it shows that you see. Another thing fascists like to do is to keep everyone afraid. Does this sound familiar? Okay, okay. <gasps> oh, those goosebumps, okay? The main thing you know is if you're getting goosebumps, it's because you're having that fascist feeling. And it's, part of, it's partly the creepiness of a government that literally likes to get us naked and just monitor everything. Classic totalitarian pooba. So true. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you find it amusing. Well, in addition to that is just good old physical fear. Just, I'm feeling it. Oh, yes, I did it. This is a show about a feeling I myself am having. All right, you should be having. I, I would argue that you should be having the Winston Smith feeling. <laughs> mm. You should be having it, because that's how bad it is. That's how far we have fallen. Yeah. Part of the thesis of the show. And part of the, f the fascist feeling is good old fear. Oh, you know, for obvious reasons. Our government has gotten so very corrupt, so very cruel. Repeat after me, cruel. Our prison system, the biggest ever, the biggest in the universe, is also marked by 
cruelty, such as uh, isolation, isolating prisoners, which is torture. So that's what our government is doing. Our government has become, our government has started to arrogate powers to itself. The president thinks, love him though we might, the president thinks he has the power to kill any one of us, you see? Wasn't this settled back during the Magna Carta? Was this not settled with the Magna Carta? Please help me get through to Obama. Obama, there is no such power. We love you like a brother, but you may be insane. If you think you have that power, Brother Obama, you are insane and must turn yourself into the psychiatrist of your choice, okay? Obama, can you hear me? Or are you too insane? Obama, can you hear me? Or are you too insane? Sing it with me. All right, don't sing it with me. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I've... In just a matter of three years, the United States has kind of transformed from a constitutional republic. Blah, blah, blah. Try again. I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't believe it. In a matter of about three years, the United States has transformed from a constitutional republic into a fascist state king. Oh, man. Oh, I tell you, I can't believe it. The creepy fascist feeling I have. You see, it is my considered belief that the United States has transformed in the last three years from a constitutional republic into a fascist state. But I can't get anybody to listen to me. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hang up on me, you bastard! Well, that's my story. I have many stories, one of which is that, oh, it's just kind of, ooh, it's that fascist feeling. If you feel a little funny, if you're watching this show in and around the date, shortly after the date of April 26th, 2012, when the show is being recorded, you get the idea. I'm talking to the future here. And if you are in the near future there, you may have a very creepy feeling, is, is what I'm saying. You probably, if you're living in the United States and are paying any attention to the, it's a weird noisy time with an election going on. You see, there's a big election going on. We're pretending it's kind of sad. We are like a puppet show. Uh, uh, watching uh, the Democrats and Republicans put up candidates about whom nobody has much enthusiasm. That's because what we feel is not enthusiasm anymore, most of us. What we really feel is a kind of a creepy fascist feeling. That's, that's what you're feeling. That's what I'm telling you. That's the theme, okay? <laughs> Well, unhappily, uh, you're having, you probably feel kind of funny because it, this is, things have changed in a monumental, profound way, but without any enunciation. How sad is that? Oh, that's about as sad as it gets. Uh, things change. There was a sea change. If you like Wikipedia sea change, there was a sea change, a monumental shift a huge 
well, a terrible loss, a kind of a quiet catastrophe in the last three years uh, that got by almost everybody except me. <laughs> Well, uh, it, it, yeah, it didn't get by everybody, but uh, a monumental change occurred. This is my story, that we really did convert from a very good type of government to the worst type of government, I guess, probably. We converted, the U.S. converted from a, a constitutional, I can't say it, okay? I cannot say constitutional republic. Okay, now you know. But I believe in it. Uh, we were a constitutional republic. Ooh, you know, very much under siege, I will admit. Very much under siege. I'm not pretending like this all just totally came out of nowhere. But there was like a drop in the last three years. We turned from a constitutional republic, a battered constitutional republic, into a... A a fascist state. You, you have to say we're in a fascist state. I know, you're saying, Perry, are you going all Alex Jones on us? <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm going all Alex Jones. Uh, but that which Alex Jones, a, a, a conspiracy guy, who saw the U.S. as a total fascist thing, and I do think the U.S. is caught up with Alex, okay? I will say that. I'm not saying Alex, Alex Jones was right all, al all along, <laughs> but uh, we have. Okay, this is, you know, that's not funny. We really have, okay, we really, really have converted into a fascist state. Alex? <laughs> this is Alex Jones, I told you so! I told you so! The government did it! The government did it! taking a well-deserved bow. No, I don't think Alex Jones was right all along, but he's right. But the, the world has caught up with him. We did shift over into fascist mode. Telltale signs. Uh, okay, there's just a kind of an unnerving feeling. That's the unnerving feeling that, that you, of this time period, are having. we're going into a wish fulfillment dream in which we are not living in a overt fascist state. A fascist state tends to be a democracy. How creepy is that? How creepy is that? A fascist state pretending to be a democracy. Welcome to the United States circa April 26th. magic headband, the headband that places thoughts into your head. How creepy. <laughs> Feels kind of good, though. What is that fascist feeling? It's the feeling that Winston Smith had. The feeling that Winston Smith had? <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I like to do that. It soothes and relieves this horrible fascist feeling that I have. And that you have. I would like to apologize for the singer. 
But this too uh, relieves that fascist feeling this this whole show at this point. This at this, this point. <clears throat> the Perry Logan show is here to help relieve you of that fascist feeling you're having, whether you admit it or not, okay? That's my story and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> well, aren't you the tough guy? That's my story. Um, one thing I never really thought about uh, was how creepy fascism would be. <laughs> well, I, it is my considered opinion that we have uh, lapsed over, uh, you know, not all at once, but with, a, with special weirdness and speed in the last three years. Yeah, you, you heard me. We, we turned from a constitutional republic. Blah, blah, blah. Say it with me. Constitutional republic. Just too much for me. There's a law in effect now, I believe, called the NDAA. Hey, give you a minute to Wikipedia NDAA here. Maestro. Did you have time to Wikipedia NDAA or have they cut off the internet? <laughs> well, I have become convinced by many recent news stories available on the good lefty uh, networks and blogs and shows. Democracy Now! Okay. You can go with Democracy Now! You can go with Glenn Greenwald guy named Glenn, Glenn Greenwald, I happen to think, is totally righteous. He will tell you what's going on, and it's, uh, not at all pretty. What's going on is, you would have to say, we slipped into fascism. We slipped the final bonds that kept us away from fascism almost on the date of 2008 when Barack Obama took office. You remember, he took the oath, oath of office. Our hopes were so high. We were as high as coons. It was 2008. We were as high as coons. Because uh, we thought a progressive, many thought a progressive was taking, taking office. And what happened? Well, I'll tell you. Obama took the oath of office. Then tore off the rubber mask, revealing the leering neocon beneath. Hello, this is a demonic version of Barack Obama who is tearing off the rubber mask, revealing the leering neocon beneath. I, Barack Obama, have continued the Bush Cheney attack on human liberties and the left are rendered impotent. That's what I say, the left are rendered impotent. Hark, can you say the left are rendered impotent? Yeah, it's not that hard to say, is it? Although not necessarily fun to admit that why did we, did we manage to slip into that whole fascism thing under the Democrats. It was uh, at least presumably under the Democrats who, forgive me for being old-fashioned, but one might have wished the political left would have protected us and acted against, well, the advent of fascism in America. You know, my friends, it amuses me to remember this, but... There's a saying, I don't think they know for sure who said this, but someone said when fascism comes to America, 
it will come in the form of religion. And it will come wrapped in the flag and talking about religion. We all thought, that's, uh, that's how the right takes over. We all kind of saw that, you see? But nobody said anything about a guy from Chicago. <laughs> They said, there, there is a saying uh, of uncertain ascription, is what I'm saying. There's a saying that said, uh, you know, when, when fascism comes to the United States, <laughs> when, not if, but when fascism comes to the United States, it would come wrapped in the flag, you know, it would come in terms of patriotism and jingoism, and it would have, it would be uh, religious, you know, it would be like religious weirdness. And, you know, they were looking ahead to the religious right, which really has done untold damage to the U.S. Ooh, religious, religious right. right. Bad, bad for your karma. karma. Oh, religious right. It is so bad for your karma that you have effed up the U.S. So, hey, just a shout out to the religious right. Uh, the people who think they're Christians, you know. That's my theory, the whole religious right are people who somehow manage to think they're Christians. Okay, but anyway, thank you for helping to screw things up. So that statement that we were going to, when, you know, when we became fascist, it would be uh, this religious guys and stuff. Well, there is a whole lot of truth to it, to give credit where it's due, which I like to do, but nobody said anything about a slick guy from Chicago. feeling he was having pertained to the fact that the government was watching everything he did. The government didn't just have a view screen anymore. The government was reading all of Winston's emails, looking at all of Winston's web activity, recording Winston's phone calls, watching Winston in a way that would have made George Orwell blush. That was that fascist feeling, the creepy feeling that the government wants you naked, wants you naked to its eyes, and also the feeling that the government is becoming increasingly cruel. Winston realized part of that fascist feeling is simple physical fear, as fascist governments like to get us naked, humiliate us, just as our corrupt United States government is now doing, even now, on April 26, 2012, with the face of fear is everywhere. The government clearly reserves the right to torture, disappear, or kill us. This stuff goes back to before the Magna Carta. That's how bad it is. That's how bad it is, thought Winston Smith. Only a political sage such as Austin's beloved Perry Logan would be able to explain this to me in another great show entitled That Fascist Feeling. Winston Smith, ladies and gentlemen, making another appearance in this show. Yay! People are now feeling like they have to watch what they say. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? Look, there are comments at Huffington Post that look like they were written in some damn kind of code. <laughs> By which I mean the people 
And they're, they're okay, the folks at Huffington Post who make comments at the Huffington Post, a well-known lefty watering hole. <laughs> watering hole. Well, a lot of them, are, are, well, let's just say they're paranoid, you know. They, do they want to say Muslim? Do they want to say terrorist? Do, you know, do they want to say hardly anything? It's that bad. They are so sure they're being watched. They start like inserting little periods and little weird accent marks and stuff to get past these uh, software. You know, there's software looking for like terrorists. <laughs> it's like it is Orwellian with a, with a really a, a whopping big sci-fi tinge. Type big brother of the brain, a big computer. He's watching us. <laughs> so among the, the things that, that go with that fascist feeling. And I submit, if you are given to outspoken opinions, questioning the status quo, or protests, heaven forbid, you know, it's quite clear the government is moving to outlaw protest. This is a classic fascist thing to do. It's going on a pace under the Democrats. Because the left has been rendered impotent. <laughs> Nothing personal, but the left has been rendered impotent. And, and now we all have this unpleasant Winston Smith kind of feeling. Among other things, I think I understand the novel, 1984, just a little better. <laughs>